This is CBS 4 News at 7. How close are we to living in the age of the Jetsons? If you ask one South Florida developer, pretty close. When we come back, the future of flying cars in Florida. The new South Florida skyscraper is helping lead the way toward the possible future of flying cars. Tomorrow night on CBS 4, a special primetime edition of CBS Sunday Morning will focus on America's love of the automobile, the perils of commuting and gridlock, and future transportation technologies. Paramount Miami World Center, America's second largest real estate development, will be featured on the program. It's billed as the country's most heavily amenitized condo tower, and it will have the world's first flying co car skyport. Daniel Kotz is the CEO developer of Paramount Miami World Center, which is going up in downtown Miami. Thank you very much, Dan, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Nice to have you here. So first of all, tell us about your day with CBS Sunday Morning. So it was a, it was a very interesting day. Uh, Richard Schlesinger, uh, you know, Adam Golds, uh, you know, the entire crew, we went up to the top of the 60th floor. We could see all of Miami. You know, we saw the entire city. Um, and, you know, we were just inspecting. It was, all, you know, projects already built. It was topped off at the end of last year. And so we're actually inspecting the area that could one day could be converted into a flying skyport. And, you know, it was, it was interesting because as we're looking down, you could see, you know, all the highways in Miami and you can start to see the congestion uh, in the highways. So talking about transportation and looking at the congestion, uh, you know, it was interesting to have that conversation. Now, are, are you serious? I know that we did a story about uh, maybe thinking about it, but is this just a dream or is this something that you really think could be a reality someday? Well, look, I mean, if you look at every major corporation, Bell, Airbus, Bell, uh, Uber, these, all these companies are working on uh, vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. And so this is very real. I mean, this is uh, um, something that, you know, we're already seeing uh, companies that are, that are working on this type of technology. Tomorrow, it's going to be featured. Uh, it's a, a flying car called PAL-V. This is a personal air, air and landing vehicle. And so this is something that's actually in the market now. This is a, a milestone uh, where you actually have a, a flying car people can buy I think it's $599,000 uh, people can actually buy one of these things of course you need a little bit of room to take off with it it's not quite a vertical takeoff and landing but this is this is very very real that's it's quite quite the sticker shock there <laughs> 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 actually it's, it's the price of a, of a, of a private aircraft there so you it's, go. it's uh, I guess it falls in that category. I guess in that case is reasonable or, yeah. or a great Ferrari yeah. and so why when you were envisioning this building why why did you even incorporate this how did it even come to your mind so it's interesting when we envisioned the building, uh, we we always looked at, you know, you know, Miami, when we first started, it was in 2014, Miami was called the city of the future, and so we launched this project in 2015, and we said, you know, what is the future, and, and every aspect of the building as we went through it, we said, you know, how, you know, how are people going to live in the future, how are they going to, you know, how are they going to want to interact with, with their lives, um, and so this was really, when we looked at our rooftop, we thought, what an opportunity, you know, here we have this incredible rooftop uh, that can accommodate this type of transportation, uh, and, and so, uh, you know, we thought this is a, a great way to one day, you know, prepare. We, we looked at the infrastructure and we said, let's convert this so one day it could be converted into, you know, a, a landing pad for flying cars. Uh, we don't know the timing yet, but definitely plan for the future. Now, the, uh, the project is really coming along. It's, it's a huge project right there in downtown Miami. Uh, what's, the, what's the update on the sales and our potential buyers talking about, oh, I want to live in a building that will have cars landing on the roof. They're all <laughs> buying flying cars already. Uh, no. Uh, uh, we're actually we're blessed. We're 85 percent sold out. We're not completed with construction yet. Um, you know, Paramount is is uh, the flagship tower of Miami World Center, uh, which is a 27-acre mixed-use development. You know, this is, is retail, ground floor retail, office. They're building the new Marriott Marquis Convention Center. So there's a lot happening. This is going to tie all of Miami from Brickell to Design District. It's going to tie together and really create a city center. So it's a, it's a it's a fantastic project. What does it mean to be the most amenitized building. Uh, so we counted one day and we said, wow, we have 46, 46 different amenities uh, in our building. Uh, and so, uh, you know, this is a unique project. Uh, you know, we call it a vertical country club uh, because, you know, we have we have four acres of, out, just to begin, four acres of outdoor deck. So we have this resort pools uh, with bungalows. Uh, you know, we have tennis courts. We have a soccer field. And, and so in an indoor, we have basketball, indoor basketball, racquetball, uh, uh, golf, you know, so, I mean, 
you can just go on and on, and I can I can go on and keep name. I'm not going to name all 46, uh, but in essence, it really created a, a form of lifestyle. And you know, South Florida, Miami, really you know has that you know wants to have that indoor outdoor lifestyle, and you know, Paramount really serves that purpose. Well, when the cars start landing on the roof, hopefully we can get a ride <laughs> on there, get that video because that'll be a, quite a spectacular view. Dan Kotze is the uh, CEO developer of Paramount Miami World Center. Thank you very much for being here, Dan. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Buddy. Thank you. And be sure to tune in tomorrow night for the CBS Sunday morning primetime special, No Exit, South Florida's very own flying car Skyport, the first in the world, will be featured. The one-hour special airs tomorrow at 9 p.m. here on CBS4.